Hi everyone, welcome to the Supernatural Life. Today I want to share the information about the Nephilims. So many of the people don't know who are the Nephilims. But today I'm going to share about the topic called Nephilims. Who are the Nephilims? What are the plans of Nephilims? Let us speak about them. So, so coming to the word of God, according to Genesis chapter number 6 and verse number 2, that said, The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they choose. Let me read it again for you. The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they choose. So, before I'm going to share the explanation about the Nephilims, let me share about the sons of God. Who are these people? Who are the sons of God? Sons of God. So, who are the sons of God? Sons of God in that book of Genesis chapter number 6, verse number 2, according to that word, sons of God are nothing but the angels of God. Because in, that, in those days, there are no prophets to preach the love of God. There are no pastors, there are no men of God, there are no spirit of God, uh, th th there is nothing in that place in those days. So there is no man to preach the goodness of God. There is no woman to preach the goodness of the Father. So hence, the God sent 200 angels, which we called as sons of God, 200 sons of God to the earth to preach the love of God to the people. Who are the sons of God? How they, how they uh, look like? Simple. We, we, we remember uh, the book of Enoch. Okay? So according to the book of Enoch, God sent 200 angels to the earth. 200 sons of God to the earth. To preach the love of God, to preach the greatness of God by doing signs and miracles in the midst of the people. But those sons of God are failed to preach the goodness of God. So, how they look like? How the sons of God look like? So, sons of God are the basic level of angels of God. They are also a part of angels, but the levels of the angels are uh, so small the basic level of angels is sons of God they don't have wings they are like us they are like a man so we see in the, uh, in, the, in, the in the place of Sodomo and Goromo and in that place that the angels of God came to the uh, person called Lot okay so when the when the when the angels of God approached to the Lot the angels of God look like a man of God. The angels of God look like uh, the man, a human being. They don't have wings. They don't have glory. They look like a man exactly. So, so that the people who are in the Sodom and Gomorrah city, they are expected that angels to do sin because they are like a man. So, and also in the time of Abraham, in the time of Abraham, there are three peoples that the, 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 there are three peoples they are approached to the Abraham and they eat. So how can angels of God eat? Because they, the, those are sons of God. Sons of God can eat. Sons of God can smell. Sons of God can touch our physical things. Because the God, the God created angels in the form of sons of God those are angels that is the heavenly beings okay God created those sons of God in another form God created angels of God like Mar uh, like Michael like Gabriel in another dimension God is created the angels called sons of God is created in another dimensions so these are called sons of God so God is sent these sons of God to the earth because to preach the goodness of God, to preach the love of God. But they are failed to preach the love of God because the, the, the leader of the sons of God is the archangel. The name of the archangel is Azazel. The name of the archangel is Azazel. So 
The name of the archangel is Azazel. That is the team leader of the sons of God. A 200 sons of God. That is the team leader of the 200 sons of God. So that person called archangel is make them to deceive. Because sons of God came in the midst of the daughters of man. And they saw their beauty. They tempted because sons of God have a flesh like a man. Because God created like that. Okay. They saw a daughters. They saw a beauty of a daughters of man. And they begin to marry. And they begin to, uh, they, they, they begin to sleep with them. And have a children by doing all of the filthy things. This is against God completely. God not sent to them. God not sent them to the earth. To, 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 to give birth to people. No. God sent those angels to earth to preach the goodness of God. To preach the powerful things of God. Love of God. But they are failed simply. So let me come to the uh, words 3. And then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with man forever. For he is mortal. Okay. Because the man is mortal. Mortal is what is the meaning of mortal? Mortal is nothing but uh, there is a certain age. There is a limited, there is a limited life that God puts for the man. But the sons of God, there is no death for the sons of God. Because they are immortal. Okay, they, they, they are eternal. Sons of God are eternal. They don't have a death. But for the people have a death because God is saying that he is mortal. His days will be a hundred and twenty years. Okay, one twenty years. Okay, and chapter and verse number four. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of men and had children by them, they were the heroes of old. They were the giants, men of renown. They were the giants. Who are the giants? Giants came. When the angels of God are connected with the daughters of men. Okay. When the angels of God connect with Who are these angels? Sons of God. Basic level of angels called sons of God. When sons of God is connected with the daughters of a man. Simply they released another seed. Called a seed of Nephilim. Okay. Whoever come from this connection. The seed is releasing from this connection. That seed is called the seed of Nephilim. They are simply Jains. Okay. They are a Jain. It means their height is simply third floor. Three floors of height. Some of the, uh, some of the people are four floors. Some of the people are five floors height. Because in the first Samuel. Uh, I think chapter, chapter number 21. I think so. The, the God saying that there, uh, for, for a Nephilim there are six fingers. For one hand they have a six fingers. Okay. There are six fingers for a one hand. Because it is simply against the God creation. So who created a Nephilim? Who created a Nephilim? Is God created a Nephilim? No. It is against the, uh, it is against the God. So God chose that. God wants to destroy the head because of the Nephilim. So let, let me read another words again. So chapter number 6 verse number 6. The Lord, the, the, uh, okay, chapter number 6 and verse number 5. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become. And that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. So what are the plans of the Nephilim? The plan of a Nephilim is to destroy the earth completely with a uh, iniquity. Okay. So God is saying that there is no goodness in them. No 1% of goodness is existed in them. Completely 100% of the character is fully bad. Okay. God is saying that his heart was only evil. No goodness. Only evil. All the time. All the time they can manifest in the evilness every time. The Nephilims, the thoughts of a Nephilims are always evil. There is no goodness that existed in the Nephilims. My brothers, please. And also 
verse number six the lord was grieved that he had made man on the earth and his heart was filled with pain god feels pain because of he created a man because of he sent angels to the earth he trusts a sons of god he trusts a sons of god to preach the goodness of god but they failed because of the uh, because of the leadership of the angels because of the beauty of the daughters of a man okay and uh, verse number seven so the lord said i will wipe mankind whom i have created from the face of the earth men and animals and creatures that move along the ground and birds of the air for i am grieved that i have made them let me share the revelation my brothers please listen continuously god wants to kill not only a mankind but also animals but also birds but also every creation has to be removed from by the god because god why god is saying these all kinds of things to the noah because nephilims is doing sex with the animals okay this in this generation many of the people are begin to do sex with animals okay they are doing sex with animals they are doing sex with the dog they are doing sex with uh, uh, some type of buffaloes that's a simple seed of a nephilim okay seed of nephilim is manifesting in this generation also they do sex with animals the animals when they when they do sex with animals one type of creation one type of creature will come out of that womb okay one type of creature that's not a god will that is against the god will okay because of this kind of sex because of this kind of attraction over the animals the man is attracted over the animals and doing some filthy things with the animals and having a child with the animals that's how crazy this is so big 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 sin that the people are doing this is simply a seed of the nephilim and my brothers today I want to share one of the revelation that many of the people are wants to see the angels of God. Many of the people have a desire to communicate with the angels. Of course, it is good. I'm not saying it's a bad. It's good. But my brothers, God is sent a prophet. God created a prophet for you, because in the previous time when god created a sons of god for the people to know the love of god sons of god are failed to preach the love of god and hence god created a prophet and hence god sent a prophet god make a prophet god is released a man of god god is created a man of god for people to understand the things of god not the angels so angels of god the will of the angels of god to serve you okay there has to be your servant my brothers please the, the angels of god has to be your servant what you command the angels of god shall do what you speak that is the work of the angel the, the angels cannot dominate you the angels cannot preach you because the, the the in the in the acts chapter number 10 the angel of god came to the uh, who is that person Cornelius the angel of God came to the Cornelius and the angel of God never preached about the Jesus Christ but angel of God given a sign to that Cornelius uh, for the Peter to come to this person to preach the gospel of Christ the angel of God never preached at that time because man of God is existed God created a man of God God made a prophet to preach about the love of God to preach about the greatness of God now the time is not the sons of god but the, the man of god is created by god for you people to be blessed okay so the nephilims are the, the seed of nephilims are still existed let me let me say some of the signs of the seed of a nephilims they physical body are changed they look like eight feet nine feet of a people in this generation 
That's the one sign. And another sign, they do sex with animals. Their affection is on the animals. Some of the women have affection on the animals, not on their husband. Some of the men have a affection on the animals, not on their wife. This is the seed of the Nephilims. Okay, some of the people are so cunning, they don't have any goodness in them. This is the third point. Some of the people, they don't have a goodness, simple, they are cunning fellows. Even one person doesn't have a goodness in them. They're going to hell very easily because of the seed of the Nephilims has been existed in them. So my brothers, these are the three points. Shortly, I am spoken with these things, my, my, my brothers. So please listen to the voice of God. Generations are coming very, very near. The coming generations are very dangerous. Many of the people are doing sex with toys. <laughs> not with, not with women. They, they do sex with animals. Some of the people, they do sex with the toys. Toy. Ha, they don't have a uh, life. The toys don't have a life. Just this, they are doing sex with a, a toys which, do, which doesn't have a life. These are the things that is going to happen in the generation, my brother. So please be prayerful. Don't forget to pray. Okay, be prayerful. Be good in the Christ. Depend on the grace of God. The God, the God is going to make you powerful to deliver those kind of people, my brother. So, I pray, I don't want any of the people to be possessed by this seed. If anyone watching and having this kind of seed today be disconnected in the name of Jesus Christ. People who are saying Amen, mainly I pray for them, let, let that seed be disconnected from them in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. I bless you all people. And I thank for and thank you for everything what you are watching right now. It's a very important message for all the people because we need these kind of revelations and explanation about the Nephilims. For more, uh, for more information, please refer the book of Enoch. Book of Enoch is very powerful book uh, to speak about the Nephilims, to speak about the angels of God. Okay, so. I hope you people all understand this explanation about the Nephilims and about the sons of God and all of these things. Thank you and God bless you. Subscribe to Supernatural Life and thank you. Share it. Share this video. Like and comment. Thank you. God bless you.